Enjoy watching. Since the advent of the internet, we have been told that we cannot believe everything that we read and see there. But it will surprise you how many facts on the internet that seem to be fiction and deceit. But they are true. And here are some of these incredible facts. Let's go! Goats have accents. Most of us have wondered what it would be like to communicate with animals. A DR Doolittle reality might still be a way off but we're one step closer to understanding the humble goat thanks to a groundbreaking discovery. They have accents goat bleats. Yes, those adorable little bleats are actually spoken in distinctly different dialects. According to a team of researchers from London's Queen Mary University, it's not uncommon for humans to pick up new accents after changing social groups or moving away from home. So why shouldn't goats do the same? Wow! According to DR Elodie Briefer, that's exactly what happens. The team studied a group of pygmy goats in 2012 at one week old and five weeks old, and found that they adapted their ways of communicating as they grew older and moved in different groups, making them one of the only other mammals to do so. I guess this means those goats yelling like humans might actually be saying you don't sound like you're from around here, buddy. Armadillos always give birth to identical quadruple ts. As if suddenly rolling your body into a compact armored ball isn't enough. To make you memorable, nine banded armadillos have another weird party trick. Giving birth to identical quadruple ts. T would be a mean feat once in a lifetime, but female armadillos can expect nothing less. Every single time they fall pregnant dot dot and no wonder they need to escape reality every once in a while. A female produces a single egg, which once fertilized splits into four genetically identical embryos that each share one placenta. Scientists aren't sure exactly why this happens, but it could be an evolutionary attempt to produce identical clones in the knowledge that one offspring might not always survive in an ever-changing environment. It rains diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn, Earth can experience some freak weather, but possible inhabitants of Jupiter and Saturn could be well-accustomed. To a meteorological event Kim Kardashian would dream of, diamond rain. Believe it or not, us scientists have determined that a phenomenon occurring on these planets is capable of producing a rock big enough for a hefty engagement ring out of thin air. It all starts in the upper atmosphere, where lightning created during intense thunderstorms turns methane into carbon or soot which then plummets down toward the planet's core. As the soot falls about 6,000 kilometers, immense atmospheric pressure is enough to turn it into graphite and eventually compressed diamonds, like popcorn but in reverse. Unfortunately for anyone expecting Elon Musk to create an intergalactic diamond shuttle anytime soon, it turns out these one-centimeter diamonds don't last long. The stones fall for approximately two and a half Earth spans, by which point they likely melt into a sea of carbon which is far less appealing. You're taller in the morning, ever been rejected because she only dates guys who are six foot and over. Try suggesting breakfast for your next date and you might just get the boost you need. Believe it or not, you wake up taller each morning than you were when you went to bed the night before and it's all down to our good friend gravity. When you sleep, your spine is able to gain some much-needed respite. From the pressure of gravity and your body replenishes lost fluids between intervertebral discs, which stretch and relax. When you first awake, this excess fluid is enough to provide up to half an inch more height. So don't feel bad about rounding up on your Tinder profile, that also means we're basically being gradually compressed throughout our day, which is a pleasant thought. For the same reason, astronauts can experience an instant two-inch growth spurt another reason to put space travel on your bucket list. Strawberries aren't berries, but bananas are. Let's imagine you've been kidnapped, and the kidnapper places a fruit bowl in front of you. He asks you to pick out all the berries for your freedom, so naturally you reach for the strawberries and raspberries. Guess what? You've just sealed your fate, bucko. That's right. Pretty much every fruit us humans added the berry suffix to isn't actually a berry. Because the English language is a Da Vinci code of utter nonsense, according to bona fide botanists, a berry is defined as a fleshy fruit with interior seeds which stems from one flower with one ovary. Strawberries and raspberries don't grow this way and have seeds on the outside, making them aggregate fruits instead. Meanwhile, bananas, 
whose seeds are so small they're easy to forget, are born of a single ovaried flower, making them a berry. If that wasn't wild enough, consider this, the humble avocado turned millennial cult symbol. Also, a berry. You can make diamonds from peanut butter, forget forking out big time at the jewelers or mining deep into the earth for a heist-worthy diamond. Just reach for the GIF instead if you're a scientist, that is, Dan Frost from the Bayerisches Geoinstitut in Germany discovered the snack's bizarre diamond-producing qualities in 2013 while trying to replicate the crystalline structures, believed to exist in the Earth's lower mantle. Thousands of kilometers below the Earth's surface, there's a geological process which extracts oxygen from CO2, leaving behind carbon that can then be crystallized into diamonds under immense pressure, Frost needed to use a carbon-rich material to try and replicate this process. And that's where good, old peanut butter comes in. Using a powerful piston under special lab conditions, Frost subjected the PB to pressures equal to 1.3 million times that of atmospheric pressure. Eventually, this was enough to produce a tiny diamond about 3 millimeters in diameter, which is smaller than a round-cut quarter carat stone, size isn't the only drawback, because the agonizing process can take weeks at a time. Oh, and it also releases hydrogen, which causes small diamond-destroying explosions. I'd hold on to the engagement ring piggy bank for now. Are you clued up enough to know of any more facts that sound fake but are actually true? Let's go! Since the advent of the internet, we have been told that we should not believe everything that we read and see there, but you will be surprised how many facts on the internet that seem to be fiction and deceit, but they are true. And here are some incredible facts. Humpty Dumpty is not an egg many people know this nursery rhyme a huge egg in clothes falls from the wall and shatters, the end, right? But the verse does not mention that Humpty Dumpty is an anthropomorphic egg, then where did this strange image of the character come from? For this, thanks to the very king of opioid fantasies, Mr. Lewis Carroll. The fact is that he decided to introduce Humpty Dumpty into his famous novel, Through the Looking Glass, and there this tedious character is described as a hybrid of a man and an egg. But if he wasn't a giant egg, then who was he? In fact, Humpty Dumpty is a huge cannon that was used in the English Civil War during the Siege of Colchester. One of the cannons managed to destroy the wall on which Humpty Dumpty was standing, causing it to fall and shatter, and it is not surprising that the cavalry could not collect it, because horses don't have arms, to begin with. Sharks are older than trees. If you had doubts about the coolness of sharks, then you know they are serious, older than trees, the earliest species that can be considered a tree, the extinct Archaeopteryx lived 350 million years ago on the site of the Sahara Desert. That seems like a very long time, but our toothy friend swam the Earth's oceans 50 million years earlier, the earliest shark teeth belonged to an individual that lived 400 million years ago. Most likely it was an ancient species of lionodes that lives in Europe. In all this incredibly long time, sharks have survived four global extinctions and many creatures that people have not even caught. Unfortunately, these fish breed very slowly and cannot keep up with the humans who hunt and kill them for their fins, if we don't stop then the trees might outlive the sharks. Carrots were purple, imagine rabbits nibbling on purple carrots, a school lunch full of purple vegetables, and parents are desperate to convince their kids that food that isn't bright orange will help them see better in the dark, real madness. But, until the 17th century, there was no alternative to this, the fact is that wild carrots growing in Persia were dark purple in color due to the antioxidant pigment anthocyanin. It was thinner and bitterer than modern varieties. When carrots were brought to Europe, with the help of selection, their taste and appearance were improved, and then the yellow and white varieties became more common. Then the Dutch took mutant strains of purple carrots and crossed them with new varieties, and so it turned out sweet, thick, orange carrots. It is believed that the color is a tribute to William of Orange, who led the Netherlands to independence. Weird, but okay. Betty White is older than sliced bread. Few people can safely say that it is older than sliced bread. Everyone's favorite actress, Betty White, born in 1992, boasts such an achievement. The very concept of sliced bread did not appear until 1928 when it was introduced by the inventor Otto Frederick Ruvetter, 
If you are weak in mathematics, then I will tell you Betty White was only six years old when sliced bread first appeared. Until 28, bakers believed that sliced bread quickly loses its freshness and was sold only in loaves. In July 1928, the newspaper of the city of Chillicot told about the invention of router and noted that some people were literally amazed by sliced bread, but housewives would be glad to get rid of the need to tackle it with a knife. Ah, simple times. Nightingales are louder than chainsaws. If you have ever been awakened loudly by the morning loud chorus of birds outside the window, then it might seem to you that someone turned on the chainsaw right in the bedroom. It turned out that there are good reasons to dislike feathered neighbors, especially if it's nightingales. German scientist Henrik Broom, whose last name is slightly similar to the sound of a chainsaw, studied how loud nightingales can be. In 2001 and 2002, they turned out to be incredibly noisy. When a male tries to attract a female, he tries to shout over the urban noise of roads or construction and can raise his voice up to 14 decibels. Room recorded the songs of the nightingale during the mating season and the loudest of them reached 95 decibels, this is the volume of a chainsaw from a meter away. Just so you know, it is illegal in Europe to expose workers to more than 87 decibels without ear protection, if nightingales were human, they could be jailed just for being loud. Cleopatra is closer to the iPhone than to building the pyramids. Where could Cleopatra be more likely to be present? While building the pyramids of Giza or in line to sell the first iPhone, what do you think? Unsurprisingly, she lived closer to the first selfie than to building the landmarks she is associated with. The largest pyramid of Giza was most likely built between 2580 and 60 BC. However, Cleopatra was born in 69 BC. Two and a half thousand years later, she was the last pharaoh and used snake venom to end her life in 30 BC, meaning they lived closer to modern times than ancient Egypt. Apple founder and CEO Steve Jobs introduced the first iPhone in 20,072,037 years after Cleopatra's death. France used the guillotine when Star Wars came out, this fact proved how distorted our perception of time is. And here's another example. On September 10, 1977, Hamida John Duby smoked a cigarette and then went to be executed in the most famous way in France by the guillotine. He was given such a punishment for taking the life of his beloved, and this was the last execution by guillotine in the history of France. However, Something else happened in that significant month of 77, the next day, in the same country, at the Deauville Movie Festival, a movie called Star Wars was shown. It turns out that the guillotine was not always associated with wigs and revolutions. There is another dark connection. A teenager named Christopher Lee attended the last public execution in France in 1939 and played Count Dooku in Star Wars. Once upon a time, we humans foraged mountains high and valleys low in order to appease our rumbling tummies. These days, all we need worry about this scavenging the aisles of Walmart, and while that can be just as wild at times, you can bet that all the food in grocery store is saved to eat, right? Well, uh, let's just say that this video will give you a lot of food for thought. Take this for example. Have you ever noticed a weird wild spot on your banana? Well, I sincerely hope not as the truth about this white spot, and the other horrifying food-based revelations we have got in store, will truly make your skin crawl. So what are these strange little mounds, and why should you be concerned? Well, these little white growths are actually the nests of spiders, and not just any spider, the Brazilian wandering spider, Aka the world's most venomous. Their bite is so toxic that it instantly attacks the nervous system, causing nausea, blurred vision, excruciating pain, and ultimately, death. Rarely will you find them outside of their South American homeland, but due to their love of hiding in dark, moist places, they occasionally smuggle themselves between bananas, where they make the journeys from the tropical regions they're harvested into your local grocery store and eventually, your home. In fact, in 2013, a British family had to evacuate their London home as dozens of the deadly spiders sprouted from their bananas. 29-year-old Concy Taylor was midway through eating a banana when she spotted a suspicious white spot on the fruit. Mold, she initially assumed, but on closer inspection, 
she was horrified to see tiny spiders dropping out onto the table and scurrying around. The tailor fled to safely and had their home fumigated of these deadly spiderlings. Luckily, even in their natural habitat, only one in 500 spiderlings of this species make it to adulthood, and their fangs aren't strong enough to pierce human flesh until the mature, meaning any real danger was fairly unlikely. Still, I don't think L had have peace of mind until I knew each and every one of the little eight-legged lurkers were disposed of. Okay, so finding a nest of baby spiders is scary, sure. But imagine finding a more developed Brazilian wandering spider along for the journey. Well, this horror story became a reality for a Staten Island family in 2016, as they returned from the grocery store with a little more than they had bargained for. I'll let you see for yourself. If that were me, then let's just say this spider would be very flat and stuck on the bottom of my shoe. The breed of this grizzly spider is unconfirmed, though being from South America, it's likely one of those venomous Brazilian wandering spiders, seemingly the only one of its brood that reached adolescence in its little egg sac apartment. Considering the bite from one of these can ultimately lead to death, the only rational choice here would be to burn the banana and the house along with it, for good measure. And that's all the time we have for today, folks. If of this fact left you particularly grossed out, then let me know down in the comments and share your own if you have any. And as always, thanks for watching.